Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in 8086 microprocessor. We're going to see the instruction set of 8086. We already seen a lot of instructions of 8086 in previous video. And today we're going to see about control transfer instruction, iteration control instruction and interrupt instruction. Right. Before starting this video, I'll once again repeat what is control transfer instruction and what is iteration control instruction and what is interrupt instruction. Control transfer instruction from the name itself you can understand the, uh, the control will be transferred to a, a different location. Right. The instruction execution will be transferred to a different uh, location. Right. That is called as transfer instruction where uh, we will we'll call it as a branch instruction like call, return, all those are control transfer instruction. And what is iteration control instruction? Uh, until a condition is satisfied, it will be looping to the same instruction again and again. That is called as iteration control instruction. And interrupt instruction, which is used to uh, execute the interrupt functions, right? Whenever there is an interrupt, right? Uh, that particular interrupt will be served. And once again, it, it will be come back to the main instruction right those operation will be taken care by the interrupt instruction so we'll start with control transfer instruction where as i said in control transfer instruction these instruction used to branch or transfer the instruction during the execution so we are normally know what is call return and jump instruction call it is used to call a procedure and save the return address to the stack where we normally in interrupt, whenever there is an interrupt, what will happen? Uh, there will be an interrupt subroutine, right? Interrupt subroutine or interrupt service routine, it will have a different address. So whenever there is an interrupt is happened, what it will do is it will go to that particular uh, interrupt subroutine. It will execute that particular program and come back to the main program, right? So it will call the interrupt subroutine, right? And that is called as call instruction right and whenever we whenever uh, the call instruction is executed what it will do is it will uh, before executing the uh, isr it will push the next instruction to the stack the address of the next instruction to the stack so that while returning it can uh, execute from that particular instruction right from from the uh, instruction where it left right we already know what is the interrupt operation right if you don't understand that Please go through the previous videos where I have explained about interrupts of 8051. What is the complete operation of interrupts and all, right? So call instruction where uh, it will just use to uh, call a subroutine or a different different uh, instructions and come back to the uh, main execution. And what is return? A return is nothing but uh, the instruction which is used to come back to the main instruction. As I said. After call, it will execute a different instruction and from that particular instruction, it has to return back to the main instruction, right? That will be done by return instruction. And what is jump? Jump is nothing but it will jump to a uh, different address, right? To proceed with the next instruction. That is jump instruction. While in the program itself, right? While executing the program itself, suddenly what you will do is you will jump to the this particular inst uh, instruction or it will jump to the this particular location. That is called a jump instruction. And when it comes to jump instruction, you have conditional jumps and as well as unconditional jumps. So what is conditional jumps? What conditional jumps in the sense the jump will happen, right? Jump to a particular address will happen, right? If a condition is satisfied, that is called as conditional jump. Unconditional jump, there is no condition. It will directly jump to a given address, right? So now we'll see what is those jump instructions. So this is jump above or j and b this is same right it's nothing but jump above or it can be also solved it can be also called as jump not below same meaning right jump above or jump not below what does it mean it can jump to a different address location right if it is above what is above that is uh, it, it, what it will do is it will compare the operands right if the first operand as the result of the comparison, it will jump, right? That is, if the first operand is greater than the second operand, first operand is greater than the second operand, then that is, it is above, greater, right? Then it will jump to the given address. So you can see here, used to jump if above or not below, 
right for the given instruction right and similarly what is j a e is nothing but same it will it will check the condition here it is only greater right it is only above if the first operand is greater than the second operand it will jump to the given address location right but here j a e is nothing but it not only the greater it is first if the first operand is greater or equal it will jump j a e is nothing but jump above by the equal right J jump above and equal what does it mean if the even if it is above or equal it can jump right whereas this instruction it will jump only if it is greater right so if the first operand is greater than second operand or if the first operand is equal to the second operand then it will jump then that is called a j a e or j n b right and what is j b e we can see here jump above here and this is just the opposite of that which is jump below or equal right so it will compare the first operand and second operand if the first operand is below the second operand or equal then it will jump right and similarly what is jc uh, this it will jump when the carry flag is equal to 1 and what is je je and j z jump if z of is equal to 1 right if z of zero flag is equal to 1 and similarly jg jg is nothing but jump if greater right jump if greater once again what it will do is it will compare the uh, first instruction and the second instruction this are the signed instruction this is for signed operation whereas the previous instructions are for unsigned this is for signed instruction what it will do is it will check the first operand and the second operand if it is greater it will do the jump that is it is called a jump if greater or it can be also called a jump if not less than right and what does it mean jge same thing it is also used for signed instruction where uh, it will jump right and not only if it is greater even if it is equal it will jump right and what is this jl it will jump if it is lower if the first operand is lower it will jump what is jle not only lower even if it is lower and equal it will jump right and what is jnc jnc is used to jump if there is no carry flag that is cf is equal to 0 if cf is equal to 0 then jnc it will jump to the given address location right what is jne jn is it which is nothing but if the zero flag that's the opposite of this one right so it will jump whenever the zero flag is set and whenever the zero flag is reset it will jump right jne whenever zero flag is equal to zero it will perform jump and what is jno it will jump whenever the overflow flag is zero right and what is jnp it is nothing but jump if not parity whenever the parity flag is zero right there is no parity it will jump and whenever jns what is jns jump if sign that is if sign but jump if not sign that is uh, if sign flag is not set then it will jump and what is jo it is nothing but just the opposite of this particular instruction where if the overflow flag is set it will jump and what is jp this is just the opposite of this particular instruction whenever the parity flag is set it will jump right and what is js just that's the opposite of this particular instruction whenever the sign flag is set it will jump right so you have to understand the conditions of all this particular jumps and you have to uh, understand the synonyms as well right jump e is nothing but jump jump if equal right so a jump if zero right? you have to understand all those things right uh, what is jbe jump below or equal right and what is j is a jump if zero jump if equal so you have to understand all those things so that you can very clearly write the uh, the operation if you understand the synonyms of that particular the abbreviation of that particular instructions right and the next is we are going to see iteration control instruction this is also same like the uh, the previous instruction where it will loop the iteration control is nothing but it will loop the conditions right it will loop the same instruction again and again until the condition is satisfied whereas here what happens right it will jump if a condition is satisfied right so here it will loop if the condition is satisfied right so what is loop it's, it will loop is nothing but normal loop operation where it will loop the same instruction until this condition is satisfied right and what is loop while equal or like loop while zero 
right? That is LOP, LOP Z. That is, it will loop the same instruction if Z of is equal to 1 and CF is not equal to 0. And loop, if while not equal, loop while not 0. Just the opposite of this instruction, it will uh, perform, right? That is, if whenever Z of is equal to 0, right? Until it Z of is equal to 0, it will loop the same instruction again and again. And what is JCX Z? It will perform the jump instruction if CX register is equal to 0, right? And interrupt instruction, I want to explain a lot of things about interrupt. And this interrupt, whenever this interrupt instruction INT is enabled, it's nothing but we have to serve the interrupt. It will call a subroutine and it will have to serve that particular interrupt. And what is INTO is nothing but whenever uh, <coughs> used to interrupt, the program will be interrupted, right, during the execution if OF flag, this overflow flag is equal to 1. That is INTO. And similarly, I return is nothing but it will return, right, after serving the subroutine, it has to return from the instruction, return, from, return to the main instruction and that will be done by RET instruction, right. And this is about interrupt instruction. So today what we have seen is we have seen about the process control instruction that is control transfer instruction and as well as we have seen iteration control instruction and what is interrupt junction. You have to be uh, very careful in understanding the control transfer instruction where you have to understand the jump conditions right, and, and the abbreviations exactly so that you can able to understand clearly. right? So I believe this video will be very useful for you. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you, students. Thank you for watching. Kandipa in the video, Ongal Kalar, Kurombo useful Subscribe, passionate professor, and keep learning. Thank you very much.